play them. McAvenny! Yes! What a start for West Ham. McAvenny's 28th goal of the season and looped it high and out of the reach of Stuart Naylor in the West Brom net as the Albion defenders stood and watched. Free kick. Devonshire to Dickens. Finds McAvenny, who finds Cotty. Surely this is number two. It is. Another perfect bit of football by West Ham. And that really was the result of the free kick in their own half, which they took very quickly, while one or two of the Albion players were looking in puzzlement at the referee to try to find out why he'd penalised them. West Ham took the free kick, they got the ball forward to Dickens, he found McAvenny, McAvenny turned inside and found Cotty, and that was number two. Bonehead knocks it forward, looking for Dyson, and Madden, yes! Greg Madden's second goal for West Bromwich Albion. Whitehead took the free kick, it was knocked on by Paul Dyson, and that's in the back of West Ham's net, so 33 minutes gone, and it's 2-1. Riley, and again Riley. Oh, was that a penalty? Yes, it was. A rather clumsy challenge on Riley by George Paris has given Albion the opportunity to level the score from the penalty spot and it will be taken by Riley. It's 2-2. Two -two. Albion celebrate, but what a real disappointment that is for West Ham. Dickens and Devonshire. Devonshire running from the halfway line. Still on his feet. Oh, and gets it out to Ward. Now, what can you do from this position? Handball claimed the crowd, and it's given. Stay them in the way, and that was handball. So now it's Stuart Naylor's turn in the Albion goal to face a penalty to be taken by Ray Stewart, who scored with a penalty in West Ham's last two matches, penalties which have given them victory on each occasion. That's three out of three for Stewart. It's 3-2 to West Ham. And incredibly, are we going to see another Stewart penalty win a third consecutive match for his team?